Okay, so although I freshly rebuilt this carburetor for my DR200, it still wasn't running properly. It was just down on power massively. It was only going about 70 k's an hour flat out, with plenty of revs to go. It just felt really boggy. So what I did was I messed around with the gearing because it had a massive front sprocket on it, a 15 tooth. It's supposed to have probably about a 13. So I put a 12 tooth on the front kept the same rear because I think it's a 46 and um, that helped it a little bit get the RPMs up so I had a bit more power but it would still only, only get up to about 75 and still very boggy and still very slow off the line so I ended up pulling the carburetor out of this one which I knew was running really good and throwing it in down there and the problem went away instantly so it's definitely carburetor related 100% carburetor related. Luckily I had a spare, well not a spare, but luckily I had a second carburetor in good condition, which I knew was in good condition on my other DR. So this is the one out of the, this is the original one which isn't running properly and I'm going to pull it apart and see what's wrong with it. So it's been freshly rebuilt with this kit here. I'd be very surprised if I did something wrong. I don't think I did because I've rebuilt probably upwards of 30 of these carburetors. And I rebuilt the one in it currently, and it's running great. So I don't think I did something wrong, but I, I'll have a look anyway. And we'll try to find out what's going on with it. Maybe a damaged diaphragm. So if there's a damaged diaphragm, the slide's not actually going to be pulled up fully by the suction when you open the throttle valve. So you can see this is the slide with the needle attached to it. And the butterfly valve opened by the throttle. So there's no mechanical linkage from the throttle to the slide like on some carbs and it only relies on suction through this little nozzle here which creates a vacuum, creates suction on the diaphragm up the top and pulls the slide up allowing more airflow. So pull off the um, top cap here and see if I can find anything wrong with the diaphragm. All I need is a Phillips number two to undo these four screws at the top. Okay, so I actually found the problem right away. So I haven't actually pulled this cap off, I just had a little peek under it. So I'll pull it off, and there's our problem. I mistakenly did not seat the diaphragm properly in the top there. You see that? It's not sitting in the lip, so it would be drawing air for it and not letting the slide open fully. And now, from memory, I was having difficulty refitting the slide back into the carburetor, and I'll tell you exactly why. <clears throat> so, I pulled this carburetor apart about six months ago, and I'd pretty much honestly just been too lazy to reassemble it and get it get my DR200 running but I finally found the motivation to do it last week and in the six months this has been out of the bike I noticed that this rubber here gone a little bit hard and actually shrunk quite a lot and I do clearly remember that now so when it came time to reinstall it it's kind of good to see it like this you can see that it's, it's kind of difficult to get it to seat in its in that groove reliably. So the easy fix for this is as I pull that side pull that side into the groove, it lifts away that side, pull that side away, lifts off that side, pull that side away, starts pulling off that side again. So that diaphragm there has shrunk a tiny bit. Squish that side down and it's pulled away that side. So that's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> Just not being as careful as I should be. And when I was putting this back on, the top cap here, it must have just pulled away when I was screwing it down. And then I have the leak, not letting the diaphragm work properly. So that's my problem. Very easy fix. Very stupid mistake, if I'm honest. But it's good to find it. So I don't have to mess around with this carb anymore, trying to solve an issue, which is very simple. Um... So the easy fix I was going to say 
to put the slide back in is simply just to put a little bit of rubber grease around that groove there. It's a little bit sticky, so I'll, I'll put a smear a bit of rubber grease around that groove and then I'll be able to push down that rubber diaphragm and it will just let it stick a little bit better when I'm putting the top cap back on. So when I'm going to screw it down it won't slide back in. I'm hoping that will work anyway, I'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, very stupid mistake, but I'm glad I found out why. And now that I've, um, now when I reseat this diaphragm correctly, I imagine this carburetor would be behaving exactly like the carburetor which is in the bike now. And I will have all my power issues solved. So, yeah, learn from my mistakes if you want.